She's 175. She, I think she looks like a model, but she has no interest of being one. She has a great smile. A smile that you think the world is okay. She's nothing what I'm used to. In South Africa, the girls were different. When I came to Berlin, I, I invited her to a fancy restaurant and, uh, and she came in, looked around, she didn't sit down, took the wine and three wine glasses off the table and said to me, come, we'll go outside. And I remember I wanted to open the door to let her go outside and she said, don't do that ever again. So we walked down the street and she told me she just met somebody and it was a street musician. We had wine and talked about life and a really great evening. And she even sold some of uh, the musicians' uh, CDs to people walk walking past. Well, lots of friends always ask me that question. There was this once I invited her to a gallery opening and um, a big car arrived and a guy, you know, styled and his stylish girlfriend came out of this car, they parked in front of the gallery and it came in and he just hit on Kim and she looked at him and said in German Pimmelpotzer, very loud, which means like a guy who, well you can imagine. And lots of people laughed, I was quite embarrassed, but I met his girlfriend or his ex-girlfriend then uh, six months later and she said Kim was right. Does Kim only do street art? No, well, some people do know this. Uh, she writes, she's a journalist, and uh, she writes about art. I asked her once, why don't, why don't you write about politics because it's so much in your work? And she said she can't be free. I think she has found a balance between her life and uh, especially with her art. Um, otherwise, if she wasn't an artist, I think she could be a great rebel jungle command or something like that.